Hey there and welcome to Monday's Pocket Painting. It's just a little mini painting to help get your creative juices flowing at the beginning of the week. Not meant to be a masterpiece. It's just meant to help get you warmed up and ready to go for the week of painting. So today we're going to do some beautiful little African violence. Very, very I said violence, didn't I? But it meant violets. Just sometimes my tongue gets wrapped around my eye teeth and I can't see what I'm saying. So we are going to be doing violets. <laughs> my grandmother had violets, these little African violets in her windows, and I just love them. So let's get started. Come on. These are going to be really simple, pretty quick. So the first thing I want to do is just sort of draw in the violets. And it's just sort of some ovals, but some elongated sort of flat ovals. So we'll just draw those in. I'm going to make a little center there. Now keep in mind it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want some sort of U shapes. Maybe, maybe that's a better term. Some U shapes. And I, I don't like the way that one is coming out. So let me just erase it and do it again. And this is actually hot pressed paper that I'm working on. And it is 140 pound. Let's see. Let's make this one go behind and then this one come out. Let me move a little bit bigger. So let me just sort of erase these extra marks I got going on. And then come back and draw this more, a little more cleanly. I'm going to go all the way to the center. And in the center, we're just going to have those cute little middle yellow stamen. There, let's, let's add some leaves. Now, I know violets have those round leaves, but let's make this a little more interesting. And make them pointy on the end. I'm going to draw a line through them so I'll remember which is a leaf and which is a flower petal. Well, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now we have it drawn. And I am going to take a little bit of my a kneaded eraser and just sort of roll over it because some of those lines are a little bit heavy. I think you can still see most of them. I don't want them to be too, too heavy. So... I've got some bright violet and a little bit of um, French ultramarine on my on my palette or on my little saucer here. And the first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to let's start at the top. I'm going to wet these little uh, petals with some clean water, and then I'm going to come and get some of my bright purple. And that's actually the name of this color. And I'm just going to go right around the edge. And then I'm going to clean my brush. And just sort of blend that down into the water. And I'm picking a little bit of it back up. I don't want it to be too dark. I want it to be darker around the outer edge of the flower petal. So I'm going to come back in while it's still wet. And just put a little bit more color right on the edge. And then we're just going to let the water do the work. And we're going to start on the next petal. And I'm going to do this petal opposite. Because I don't want them to bleed too much into each other. So I am really working on doing petals that are not side by side. So I've got it wet. And my, my water's a little dirty, so just bear with me. You use clean water. I've got some dirty water. But it's all pink, so it's going to work out. Do the same thing. Put that concentrated color right along the outside edge of your flower petal. 
while it's still wet, it's wet on wet, and just let that, that water blend for you. I'm going to come to this petal here in this flower, and we're just going to keep doing this same technique. Very easy. Wet the petal, and then right on the edge, put your color, your paint, and let that water sort of blend it toward the center so it gets lighter in the center. You can even come back and just get thicker paint, more concentrated, and just touch those edges of that petal to make it darker and then go on to the next petal like so. So we're just going to continue doing this same technique and where it looks like there's going to be a line I'm just bringing my brush back up in there while it's still wet and just using the tip to sort of blend it out a little bit. You can even add a little bit more pigment back in there. So we're going to do this technique um, on each petal and then we are going to let it dry. Okay, so now we are going to get these last, these last little petals painted. And just letting that water do the work. We're just putting the clean water on again. We did this for every single flower petal. And then we just let the water blend it toward the center. So it gets a little lighter toward that center. And these look really cute, I think. So we're going to get this last petal, and then we are going to let this completely dry, and then we're going to come back and work on those leaves. And you can even take your brush. Now this is a number two mimic brush. Uh, it's a by Creative Mark. It is a faux squirrel brush, but it is a size two round, so that's the brush in case you're wondering. Now let's let this dry. And Okay, we have this dry now, and I have taken some sap green and put it on my palette. A little bit of um, French Ultramarine, and some airy and put that on my palette or going to put it on my palette if I can get some of it going here here we go now we go and a little bit of green gold I'm gonna do a little bit of green gold on there so now we are going to do the same same thing we are going to wet our leaf and I'm leaving a little dry area right down the center so that it's sort of like our vein. And next to the actual flower, I'm going to go with the little darker, a little darker color of the green. And then I'm going to come into the sap green. I'm going to add that next and let those two blend together. Uh-oh. And then we're going to pick up some of this green gold and put it right on the end. And just let that water blend those, leaving that tiny little white space. Now if I want it a little bit darker while it's still wet, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of this blue and put it right next to the flower. So, there we go. We're going to come over here and do the same. We're going to wet it, leave a little white strip in the center, a little dry strip come in with the darker color at the base right next to the flower a little bit of the sap green next and then some of that green gold right at the tip right where that sun would be hitting it so it's going to be lighter and brighter I'll pick that up a little bit Right here, I'm going to add a little bit more darker green. Now, while it's still wet, again, I can come back and pick up a little bit more of the blue and just put that right next to the flower, right where the flower petal would be making a shadow. And then we're just going to work our way around on every leaf and do the same thing, wet it, 
leave a center portion of it dry of the paper and put in a little darker green next to the flower and come and get the sap green and put that in the next little section making sure that it blends down into that darker color and then getting a little bit more of that green gold and putting it at the tip and letting that blend into those colors now again if you want it a little darker while it's still wet you can pick up a little bit more of the blue and drop it in right there looks pretty good this should be dry enough we can go ahead and put this leaf in too and it's the same thing we are just going to put in our colors leave a little center spot for sort of like the vein And I'm going to get a little bit more of that darker blue, just drop in here at the bottom. No, that's not dark enough. Am I not getting the glue? Why am I not picking up any blue? Oop, now I probably got too much. Now I probably got too much blue, but we're just going to go with it. We're not going to get too fussy because we're just trying to make a cute little flower. And we are going to continue around doing the same exact technique on each leaf and I'll see you back here in a second okay we have all of the leaves painted in so now we just have the centers left so I'm gonna go ahead and just wet the center and I've got a little cadmium yellow here and I'm gonna thin it out with some water and then I'm just gonna drop it in the center And do the same thing on each one with that little bit of yellow. And then take some of the really intense green gold and just sort of drop it in there too. Yeah, that looks good. And you can let that dry. I think right here needs a leaf. So let me make a leaf there. It just need, it looks like it needs a little leaf right there. So I'm going to put one right there. Sometimes as you're going, you can correct your composition. And I just think it needs a leaf here. I could be wrong, but I'm going to go and try it anyway just to see. Yeah, I think that looks good. I needed a little leaf there. Maybe one here too. Let me just make a small tiny one there. Here we go. That looks better to me. Okay, now this is, put that on, and I think I'm going to go in with like this darker green here into my centers and just sort of put in a few little tiny dots so that it's not just a, it gives it a little definition. It's not just a blob of yellow in the center, and then I think we're going to be done. All right, there we go. Now, if you've enjoyed this, please consider following me subscribe to me give me a little thumbs up and um i will see you next monday